3D Sculpting with SculptGL. SculptGL is not the most powerful organic 3D sculpting software available, or even the easiest to learn, but it is free, it is easy to access, and it is capable of producing impressive visual objects that can later be printed into physical prototypes. As a side note, it is the only 3D sculpting program I teach that also runs well on modern smartphones and tablet devices. SculptGL does not require super powerful computers or installation of the software. All that is needed is a modest computer, a mouse or drawing tablet, an internet connection, and a compatible web browser. To run SculptGL on a device, users need only type SculptGL in any internet search engine and press the Enter key. The first option on most results lists is usually the correct one for finding this unique program. SculptGL presents as an entire 3D application set within a standard internet web browser window. SculptGL displays a specialized menu bar along the top edge of the program, as well as a 3D workspace with a sphere in the center and an expanding contextual tool panel along the right side of the window. SculptGL has a lot of cool features but users are not limited to just creating new shapes based on the starting sphere, or even just sculpting forms, or to using only the default tools and settings. The Files Import Export menu option in SculptGL is where users can load in new starting objects called base meshes and where completed sculpts can be sent out as external files for use in other programs. Other options in the menu bar can change the look of a scene, adjust camera settings, and add new primitive objects and change interface details. The 3D viewport in the main Sculpt GL workspace can be moved, rotated and zoomed in and out using mouse movements along with various mouse button and keyboard presses. It is a good idea for users to get comfortable with the viewport navigation before attempting to sculpt or paint objects within SculptGL. The Tools panel of SculptGL offers a dizzying array of options, controls, and possibilities. At first, users will often focus on the Sculpting and Painting subsection, as it is the easiest to understand, at least conceptually. The topology subsection is the most difficult to fathom as it allows for the alteration of the essential nature of each sculpted object. The rendering subsection helps make the scene a bit more attractive or instructive. The brush tool. This is the starting sculpt tool in SculptGL and it adds or subtracts surface volume to and from the model wherever it is painted. The tool radius and intensity can be changed along with positive, adding, and negative, subtracting, behavior. The Smooth Tool. This tool helps soften the transitions between forms on a sculpted 3D object. The radius and intensity can be adjusted along with other options. This is often one of the most used tools for digital sculptors. The Drag Tool. This tool allows for the quick blocking out of rough shapes for later refinement with other tools in the system. Some 3D artists prefer to build the overall structure of a sculpt before beginning any detail work. Prior to using the drag tool, it is often a good idea to activate, no quads, the dynamic topology option in the topology subsection of the tool panel. This allows for more organic and less angular drag operations as it creates new geometries in real time. Dynamic topology should be used sparingly, however, and deactivated after use to limit the number of surface details added to only what is needed and to prevent the software from slowing down. Other tools such as Inflate, Flatten, Crease, Pinch, Move, Twist, and Mask are all very useful for detailing sculpted 3D shapes. The masking tool is one of my favorites. Feel free to explore how each of these tools work and what they all do. SculptGL is a powerful web-based 3D sculpting program and this short introductory video cannot provide the treatment that it deserves. However, with dedication and lots of practice, this software can create amazing designs. Have fun sculpting with SculptGL and don't be afraid to show off your best work.